Hello out there to you. In this problem, we're trying to figure out the total consumer surplus based on a list of consumer willingness to pay. So what the consumer surplus is, is the difference between the willingness to pay and the price. Okay. On a uh, graphical demand curve, it's usually the difference between demand and price. Willingness to pay really is demand. Okay, it's just said in a different way. So we're told in this problem that uh, the price is six. Okay, so we've got this list of willingness to pay here. We're gonna calculate consumer surplus. So that's just this formula right here. Okay, so Ray and Helga will not have a consumer surplus because they're not willing to buy it. So there's this, this NA, uh, it doesn't matter, they're not gonna buy it because they're, Helga's willing to pay four, but the product costs six. Nellie is gonna buy it, She's willing to pay six, but, uh, you know, pays six. So there's no consumer surplus there. Harold is willing to pay 12, pays six. The difference there is six. Uh, and Jennifer's willing to pay 28, but her, um, her price in the market is only, is only six. So she only has to pay 22. So we're going to add up that. And so total consumer surplus, like the question asks, is 28. Thank you.